Ban normal. No. What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Keys from My Inbox, the show where I look at unsolicited keys that show up in my email inbox. So, as always, full disclosure: this copy of the game provided by the publisher. You know, hashtag ad or whatever FTC nonsense is going on these days. This is a 2D action adventure game. I'm gonna hit continue. I've played about a half an hour of this game thus far, and I like it. It is very deliberate. It is very uh, grim. Dark is the word. Uh, it is medieval times, and it has very it has a very measured pace to it, which I like a lot. Rise and shine. Where is everyone? Crowley has ordered the men ready to fight. They have gone on ahead. What? Why? You should probably get moving. Thanks, guy. Thanks, guy. So the combat here. Uh, just before we get into it, it for real, here is a practice dummy. So, practice my skills. So you can see there, on the top, uh, under the sword, is my stamina. So I have a light, and I have a heavy. Uh, and obviously once you use your stamina, it must be recharged. I can block with left bumper, and uh, I can dodge with the B button, which only uses up one stamina. So, it is very deliberate and measured combat system. Uh, and you don't you definitely don't want to overextend yourself in any capacity. So, you've got your stamina, you've got your health, uh, and also during the stages you find some armor. And that becomes definitely key uh, in what you are doing. So, I'm gonna head in this door before I get into the stage. And usually you want, there are, there are shortcuts that when you get to the boss, uh, if you've unlocked the shortcut, uh, that becomes very, very good, very, very useful, because the bosses can be a bit tricky. And if you die, you don't want to walk through the whole freaking stage again. There is a run. I can hit B here and run. Uh, and talk to Sir Crowley here. We have them! Those bastard priests are harboring Randall's scouts. They are no match for our might. Yes, my lord. Good man. Forward to victory! So here we have some armor, um, got that armor, so now I can have extra hits before my health starts getting chipped away at, because the combat is difficult, is difficult, so that's plenty of armor, plenty of armor. Uh, so yeah, it's got kind of this old school vertiscoped animation style, which I, I, like, I like a whole lot, um, for, you know, this kind of 2D artwork. Uh, it is very, you know, minimalized, but not too minimalized. And uh, reminds me a lot of the uh, Prince of Persia games from back in the day. Um, but I'm going to start running here because we're just kind of going through. Here we go. There's a guy. He has a shield. That's the first time I've seen a shield guy, which is uh, going to be a problem. Nope. You got to hit. So, yes. The combat. You've got two combat stances, right? you got high and low. Uh, so, obviously, you can see him with the shield there. Uh, he was either blocking high or blocking low. And so I had taken out accordingly, uh, but did take a, a little bit of damage there on my first armor uh, square. So you kind of you you do want to exp explore around, because here we go. I've got a shield. Uh, it is Y to switch your uh, weapons. Uh, there is a bow and arrow. Here's a combat manual. So it kind of teaches you about how the shield works, and obviously you know your shield will take damage and perhaps go away if you use it, because that's cer certainly the bow and arrow. Uh, you use it enough times and, the, and, and then it went away, so uh, you've only got so many arrows, etc, etc. So I have not gotten into this with a shield yet, I'm curious to see. Here we go, here we go. So how do I... nope. Alright, that, that bow and arrow guy is going to be a real pain in my ass. Okay. Shield. High and low. High and low. Yep. Keep on messing with me. See what happens. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. So when you're out of stamina, you can't do anything. You're just completely exposed. So it is very much a super deliberate uh, combat style. So you're definitely keeping a close eye. There goes the shield. But I still have a dodge. I still have a dodge, bruh. You don't want none. They don't want none. And then that's kind of how that 
stuff plays out. Uh, it is just, again, it is very, very... The pacing is very, very slow, but uh, it definitely takes some time to get used to. Not putting up much of a fight. Might be fortified in that church. Only a savage bastard would hide behind clergy. Good luck, you two. And then you move on. So it does seem stage-based, and I don't, I, I don't know how long it is. Um, I played that about, it's like a third stage. I played that about a half hour thus far. Um, and I enjoyed what I played, so I might just keep playing it. But I also don't know how long it's going to be. Um, so here is what should be shortcut. So now, if I die here, I can just go down to that first path, go down, and then walk over, and then walk up, and then I'm back where I was uh, right here. So that, to me, says that we're going to have some more difficult stuff coming up here, quite possibly. Nope. Nope, that was that was a mistake. Haha. -ha. Nope, that was a sorry. Right, back up, back up, back up, back up. Cause that was down. There we go. So you don't want to overextend yourself because that leads to problems. But also, you really got to get through your your timing and also your um your distance. Because if you whiff, whiffing is about as bad as it would be in, say, like, a Dark Souls. Because you're just using up so much of that space. And... It's just really tricky. It's just really... So he's not... Ah! I gotta start using more short, because... I, can't, I, can't, I keep going for, like, the strong attacks. And I just ate up all that uh, of my... Of my, um, oh wait, I was just here. Of my armor is just a gone, gone, gone. And armor you can get back, I mean, if you find it in the stages. Health, I haven't seen any way to get health back. So that is definitely a uh, concern. Oh good, here we go. So this is going to be a case of, I can't block arrows. I got to dodge them. Oh no, yep. This might go real bad for me. So if I'm far enough away here, Mr. Arrow Man won't uh, get in my case, which is good. If he was continually firing back here, I'd have a bit of a problem, but I'm just gonna die here because... Alright. Gonna move on up. I got two health pips left. This guy should do a thing. Dodge! I messed it up. The timing on the arrows is so specific. That you really need to be 110% on top of your game. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to work out for you. So, there you go. Back to the beginning of the stage. But, I should have to get down here. And then, uh, hit this button here. And wouldn't you know it, we're back to where we were. In theory, yep. Or, in theory? In theory. Yes. So, that's the shortcut. Also, that's some armor. So we're going to give this one more shot before wrapping up Bannerman here today. Um, I do think this is pretty good. Uh, it definitely... It, it, it harkens back to a style of game that they don't make that much anymore. Uh, and I can really appreciate uh, what they're doing here with it. I really, really do. Haha! -ha! Two hits. Two hits. So, much like a Souls game, if you're blocking, your stamina... Does not regen. So, definitely a thing to keep in mind when you want to manage your... Ah! Stamina. And going for those big hits is risky. So risky. There we go. Okay. Sit here and wait. Sit here and wait. Get it back. And then run! And then two guys. We're going to immediately engage them. And then back the F up. Because arrows. I hate them. Okay, so now... Dealing with the pole man. He's a pole man. He's got armor, and that's a problem. It can be dealt with, but obviously... Oh, man, he just knocked me down. I was like a whole... He got a heavy hit in there, and that... Uh, went... 
poorly for me, but he's just not putting up much of a fight, is he? So here's the thing, we gotta get into this arrow guy and not get hit by his multiple... Ah, it's... he's running away. He's running away! I did not anticipate that. Him running away. But here we are in the church. Enough of this madness! Do not bring violence into these sacred halls. You must leave this place. So... Do not persist in your brutality. Uh... All good. I don't want to kill a priest or a monk. Can I just leave? Can I just not? Oh. Well... I hate to say it, dude, but you're hanging out here. It's a video game. Goodbye. There goes your head. I'm sorry. You wouldn't get out of my way if you just stepped aside. But we're on a 2D plane, and that was not, uh, not possible. So, having more armor here makes me nervous. Because that probably means there's more guys to fight, uh, right through here. So, these stages, you know, they're of a decent length so far. Um, and I'll be curious, what is down here? Accounting ledger, yeah, I don't care. It's getting darker and darker down here in these dungeons. Not quite the darkest dungeon, but, you know, it is what it is. One shot, one cut. That's very much a Bushido Blade thing, and I loved Bushido Blade. The game was great. Alright, so I'm hoping to hit a boss here, and then we can wrap things up. Um, but... So far, it's been a lot of this. A lot of this. A deaction. Oh. So, yes. Obscuring my vision. Not cool. Not cool. Like, for effect, it's nice, but... Also, it makes it harder to play. He's got two more hits. If he's... Oh, he poked me. He poked me. Really? One. Come on, bro. Two. You done, son. We've made it through the catacombs and whatever else. And that may have been the stage? I don't actually know. Yeah, it seems like it. It's usually you get to the stage, you get to the end of the uh, thing and hit the fire, the bonfire. And then... Oh no, I'm, ha I'm having a flashback. I'm having a flashback. There's only one way this can go. I wouldn't overthink your situation. Don't worry. It's an easy thing to do. It's our purpose. Demonstrate your brutality. I mean, yeah, I totally just uh, took your head off. Sorry, dude, you were just standing in the way. What can I say? What can I say? This is some, like, Metal Gear Solid stuff right here, where it's like, these are all the folks you've killed. They didn't give me a choice. They did not give me a choice in the matter. But no, now we get to... Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought I had escaped, but apparently I did not escape, and things are getting uh, way worse down here in the crypts. Lots of dead bodies and whatnot. All right. Okay, well, I think at this point, you've seen what there is to see here of the Bannerman. Uh, you get the idea in terms of uh, how this game operates. It is a very uh, medieval, grimdark action. Is that me? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Action adve adve adventure game. Hey, me. Where is everybody gone? Can I go talk to me? Can I go? No? That's it? Okay, well. That being said, this is Bannerman on Steam. 15 bucks. I am a tax. Player. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. See you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.